This is the weapon. a beautiful spring day on Catacrom 4, Juanita, as we kick off a brand new season of Dread Zone. That's right, Dallas, and we're lucky enough to have a bird's eye view of the action. Even from up here, this season's Dread Zone battle courses look bigger and deadlier than ever. It's a wonder contestants keep volunteering, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Pox construction team really outdid themselves in turning this once sacred robotic burial ground into a deadly Dread Zone battle course. And look, here comes today's first contestant. Oh, my. They're really scraping the bottom of the barrel to find these guys, aren't they? I hope you folks at home aren't too squeamish, because the next one looks like a bleeder. Ratchet's first objective... To modify a weapon, select the weapon you want and press X. You will see at the top of the screen the weapons which are available, with the statistics of the weapon just below. Each weapon can equip a powerful Omega modification. These black market upgrades can inflict massive amounts of damage. To add, modify, or change an Omega mod Is a gimme, Juanita. All he has to do is make his way to the other side of this mountain pass. The shields on that turret are impenetrable. You will have to use an EMP to take them down. Defeating enemies automatically upgrades your Dread Zone weaponry and improves your maximum nanotech level. Frogs, just a reminder, tomorrow is kick your best friend in the pants day. Free popcorn for everyone who participates. As Team Dark Star continues toward the Catacrom Burial Dome, they'll need to cross what I like to call the chasm of endless falling and eventual dying. In the unlikely event that they survive, they'll take control of the big, bad, and burly walking armored tank called the Landstalker. Good luck, kids. Ratchet, you will have to capture all three nodes to extend the bridge. Be careful not to stray too far from your partner, Ratchet. 
If you get too far apart, both of your collars will explode. Here's a chilling thought. Team Darkstar is walking on top of a giant robot burial ground! If Ratchet was a tough cookie, what kind of cookie would he be? I'm gonna go with Snickerdoodle. You know, when they die. zone show requirements. Enemies appear red on the radar. Allies appear green. Challenge objectives appear blue. Expand your map at any time to get a better view of the area. automatically and carry you across the gap. Interesting fact, folks. Dread Zone started out with two guys fighting over a breakfast burrito, and the rest is history. This announcer is impressed. You know, folks, Ratchet has found the Landstalker! This 
all-terrain mech of destruction comes fully loaded with power steering, AC, jumbo-sized drink holders, and enough plasma mortars to take out a small star system. Team Dark Star's not out for a Sunday drive today, folks. They'll be blazing a trail right into the center of the Catacomb Burial Dome. Ratchet, you will have to use the Landstalker's mortars to destroy those Quasar orbs. That should clear the way. Diablo in the pale moonlight? I have, and it's fantastic! Damage. Team Darkstar is breaking this place apart! <laughs>